first impression of this guy was when, let me see, I met this guy. This was a long time ago. I don't even remember the year. But I want to say it was 2000 and, I think it was 2009. But anyway, I met this guy. Uh, ooh, he was he was fun. When I tell y'all, his smile was bright and white. He, he, he had all his teeth, all his hair. So he pulls up, I was walking, so he pulls up on the side of me. He had a nice little jag. He pulls up on the side of me. I was like, how you doing? I was looking, and I was like, and I'm thinking to myself, I ain't want to let him know he look good, but I was like, you know, I'm playing hard to get, but I was like, thinking to myself, oh, he look good. So I gave him a little hard way to go, but I still gave him my number or whatever. So we talking, we just talking back and forth on the telephone for about a week. So we, we decide to hook up, go out on a date. Well, he picks me up. And when he picks me up, and his jag, and I get some his car, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What? He was sitting on yellow pages. You know the yellow pages? <laughs> you know the yellow pages? You know what? I'm done with you. What? The I'm yellow done. pages. The yellow pages. I know it's the phone book. The yellow pages phone book. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. And I'm, and I'm like, oh, my God. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. Right? What? So, I ain't want to say nothing. So we get to the movies. I guess out the car. I, I will lie to you not. He had nice. He had muscles and everything. Mm -hmm. This boy, he was like this. This this tall. This tall. Looks so good. So, as we walk into the movie theater, I told him I forgot something in his car or whatever. Right. He gave me his key. I went back to the car. I really didn't get nothing. Mm -hmm. I gave him. He waited. I wanted him to go because I didn't want to walk with him. At that point, I didn't want to walk with him because. He was so short, like I couldn't walk with him. No, 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 no. I'm not. I don't. I'm, I feel like I don't have nothing against short people, but I just I don't want to date nobody short like that. He was just too short. Wasn't that just? No, you must say see the package. No, no. I don't. <laughs> oh, I, the what they say? Well, I say it compensates. I did him. It's free and I'm the mom. <laughs> I hair that you know get back before you time baby before we get mad if I even know you that they got a pack I'm sure the package I got it going on now I don't know I think you now should I ain't know but I did hear that, that you should that I hate the short the, 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 the short you know? well you know I'm not my mom so I gotta stand you know I'm just saying that's all I'm just saying well I will, I will no. say this okay since he was that fine I did test the package <laughs> And the package was nice, but I only went to his house at night. I didn't go out there. I'm serious. I believe it. I did. He had to take me out. Look, he was like, you want to go out to dinner? Oh, order the food in. Let's order in. Who's always on? Oh, but she wants the good. No, she wants the good. She wants the good. But she ain't want to go out and see it with the good. No, because your leg, he all, he, his legs is up here. Oh. It's like I was short per. I don't know. It's just he, <laughs> hands on the he was right where he needed to be, though. You know. <laughs> so yeah. So he had the muscles. That that, that 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 was my my thing. I mean, wow. I was like, mm -mm, but I would never go nowhere with him. Uh -uh. Yeah, you gotta take me nowhere. Mm -hmm. Just so you see so, him at twelve o'clock every night. At, at, at night, <laughs> I'm gonna be at night. I don't get off until late, knowing I'm off early. But I'll be. I don't get off until late. I'll be right over there when I get off work. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. My first impression um, about when I met my dad. So we invited him over to come, you know, meet my boyfriend at the time. Uh, so he can just, you know, fill him out. I mind you, my dad been incarcerated for a while. So <laughs> he come in, he say hi to everybody. Um, and then he turned to my boyfriend and he pulled out a shank. <laughs> he pulled out a shank. My dude he's still the beast of the prison. Like he like, how long you been with my door? <laughs> my dude, I'm like, well we've been together for almost ten years now. But to my dad, he just was like, listen. <laughs> he was like, I got this tattoo I did in prison on my door today for me, and I just want you to know I kill for my. Did you do that job with a razor? Yeah. You know, he said a pen in oh. the ink. <laughs> yes. And his hand started right here. It looked crazy. But, yeah, that was my first impression of meeting oh, my dad out of prison for a while. <laughs> first impression. <laughs> I met this guy. He was cute and everything. I normally don't give my number to nobody. But 
I gave him a chance. So he said, come on, we're going to go out. We're going to have some fun. All right, we did all that. It was cool. I got my own house. I got my own ride. I make money. All right. I make my own money too, but still. So we get back to his house. He like, be quiet. Why do I got to be quiet if this your house? He like, no, my grandma here. I said, oh, so your grandma came to visit? He ignored the question. So we get in the house. House is nice. So he like, shh, you just got to be quiet. I'm like, why? He like, my grandma upstairs too. All right, I respect that. So now I got to piss. I'm like, yo, I got to go to the bathroom. Like, I really got to piss. He like, wait. I, you got to be quiet. Why do I have to be quiet? I got to piss. Now I'm getting real agitated. He like, all right, let me go see where my grandma made. Okay. He goes upstairs. He come back down. He like, all right, come on. He like, just be quiet. He like, my grandma newsy. Everybody grandma the hell newsy. Especially coming in the house about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. That's a booty call. I wanted to fuck. I wanted to see what this nigga was about. So he keep telling me to be quiet. So go to the bathroom, whatever. Where your room at? Come on, we gonna go down in the basement. Basement? Why we gotta go down in the basement? Where your room at? He like, no. Nah, you know, I don't want no noise to wake my grandma up. So all right, we go down in the basement. Basement set up nice. Nice decked out. So, you know, we <laughs> that's all full play, honey. Yeah. So we about to get into it. Guess who got me upstairs? Grandma! What the fuck this bitch doing in my house? Get in the fuck. I thought this was it. That nigga ain't got no motherfucking house or no motherfucking job. Oh, hell no. I was just, I was done. I was like, you ain't got no job. Oh, my grandma, I'm tripping. Motherfucker, I ain't tripping. You can get the fuck out and go live the fuck with her. Yeah, I'll do that first and second.